Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I'm sitting down here by the river and I wanna share with you a bait that I've been using a little bit here and there for the last month or so. It's a bait that a friend of mine said, Matt, you need to try this. It's a really good crossbreed between a buzz bait and a plopper style bait. And you need to be trying it because he's catching a lot of fish on it. So I went out, ordered a couple. I've taken it out a few times now and had really good success on it. But more than anything, I think it's gonna be a killer fall bait for you. So that's what I wanna share with you today. It's a new bait for me. I don't know how long it's been out there. I think it's relatively new. Uh, but again, I didn't hear about it until my buddy told me I needed to try it. So maybe it's been around for a while, but I don't think it has. I think it's probably only been out for a year or so. Anyways, guys, before I get into that bait with you, I do wanna recommend that if you're uh, looking for a little bit of more content from me check out my members only page we put up additional videos per month we have a members only live stream you can reach out to me directly and ask me your questions uh, it's a good way to get some additional content from me if that's what you're looking for and guys let's jump right into this this is a bait that again my buddy shared with me this is called the jackal gargle and it's kind of a hybrid between a buzz bait and a plopper style bait and what i mean by that is it's got the same buzzbait presentation that we're used to, but it's got the plopper sound, and that's what's so cool about it. And the reason I think this is gonna be killer during the fall is because of the fact that we know the plopper style baits, your chopos, your whopper ploppers, become very good baits to go to in the fall months. Uh, no matter where you're at in the country, that's when that bait thrives. And the funny thing is, that bait's kind of taken over for the buzzbait during the fall period, Buzzbait is still a great bait in the fall period, but in this case, you've got a hybrid between the buzzbait and the ploppers. And that's what I think is so great about it. I want to take it down to the water. I want to show you uh, the sound of it, show you the presentation, just because if you're not aware of it, you'll be able to see how it runs. It really is a unique bait with a unique sound for a buzzbait. But if you listen closely, it'll remind you of the chopo, remind you of a plopper. Uh, it's just one of those things that's a good hybrid, but I think it's something you're going to want to try. It's definitely unique, and I've been having some good success on it. So let's go down to the water. Okay, we've got here the Jackal Gargle. It's that hybrid between a buzz bait and a plopper cell bait, like a chopo or a whopper plopper. You can see it's got a cupped blade that is very similar to a, a whopper plopper or chopo blade on the back. Uh, it's something that catches water and makes a little bit more of a gurgle sound, which is unique to the plopper style baits. And in this case, it's a hinged buzz bait that does it. So let's see if you can hear it. Make a couple of short casts for you. You just fish it like a normal buzz bait. It's a very unique sound to a buzzbait. Uh, I mean, it's, you fish it the same way you would fish a buzzbait. I do want to make a couple of uh, notes. The first being that I'm not fishing it with a trailer. You definitely could fish it with a trailer. Uh, the trailer, if you throw like a boot tail, that would allow you to keep the bait up a little bit higher. You could retrieve it at a slower speed. And therefore, you can get more uh, gurgling action out of it on the retrieve, it's just something to make note of. I'm using it without a trailer in this case so that you guys can see how it runs without a trailer because everyone likes to use a, a different trailer. But in this case, a boot tail would probably be one of my preferred trailers just to slow up the speed of it. Uh, the other couple of things I wanna note, I do find that it's not quite as weedless as a normal buzz bait with the hinge on there. It kind of seems like you just have more components that can get caught up in grass. At the same time, if you like to drop your buzzbait down into timber or laydowns when you're retrieving it, it also seems like because it's hinged, you have a greater likelihood of getting uh, caught up on one of those branches. But if you're just looking to retrieve it on the surface uh, and straight on the surface, then very much it, it, you know, it's just as good in terms of weedlessness as other baits. Something to uh, give a try. It's a unique buzzbait, guys. It's something that I find uh, to work quite well. I've had it for about a month. I've caught a lot of big smallmouth, big largemouth on it. 
and a lot of bites. And I don't know if that's because I'm getting more bites than the uh, than a normal buzzbait or if it's just because I've been out on good buzzbait days, which I feel like I have been because they've been low pressure, stable weather days. So they've been good buzzbait days. But this is a bait that I think you might want to tinker around with. You know I like unique baits. This is something that's different. I don't know how long it's been on the market. I mean, I don't think it's been on the market that long because otherwise I'd be aware of it. But it is something that is relatively new, I believe. And something that I think you guys might want to check out. It's the Jackal Gargle. It's pretty unique, pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, check it out, guys. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this new product review, new to me at least. If you've had some experience with this bait, please put uh, your comments in the comment section. I'd love to know if you like it, don't like it, what trailers you like to use it with, and the areas you like to fish it so that myself, as well as the rest of the viewers can learn from your experiences with it. Uh, otherwise, guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and stay tuned for another video coming out tomorrow.